Hey y'all, come on in. Happy Friday. How y'all doing? Happy Friday. What's going on, y'all? I'm just sitting over here. Um, I finally made a decision for those of you all who are just now joining in. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Paulette. I am the owner and founder of uh, Brownstone Worldwide. I'm one of the partners. And we also have KCCL Radio, the Brownstone Center, which falls under that. And then we also have the syndicated radio show, the Sunday Brunch, and all of the other shows that are a part of uh, Brownstone Worldwide. So welcome, welcome. Come on in. We're getting ready to make um, bow tie pasta and sausage with broccoli. Something super simple. And we're going to be adding some cheese to it for a little extra oomph to it. And uh, just really, really something to enjoy. And we're going to put it um, away <laughs> so that we can have something to eat for the weekend because it's going to be a busy one the closer that we get to um, my daughter's wedding. Let's talk about that. So. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to prepare um, a couple of, uh, just one. It's a whole grain box of uh, bow tie pasta that we have here. And we're going to go ahead and put that in our water. But the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that it is boiling. So I'm going to help it just a little bit. We're going to add some sea salt to it, right? So, yes, I keep sea salt just laying around for other reasons, okay? All right, we're going to salt that water up just a little bit. We're going to get it to a rolling boil so that um, we can get our uh, food ready. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to be using just a basic mild pork sausage. Now, you can use any kind of meat or protein that you want. You can use anything from, say, for instance, like a um, protein crumbles. You can use Beyond Meat. You can use a myriad of different things to add to your bow tie pasta. Me personally, it was the meat was on sale. I grabbed it, and every once in a while, we will have some um, some ground meat. So I'm going to grab my bestie over here. Her name is Sally. For those of you all who are familiar with Sally, you all know she is my favorite skillet. So I'm going to go ahead and pull her out. Okay. Now I was going to make enchiladas today, y'all. But I decided against it, and I will probably do it maybe on Monday night or whatever. So I'm going to pull out Sally, and we're going to put her over here. And uh, we're going to get my sausage out of the refrigerator, and we're going to start cooking just a little bit. So while the bow tie pasta is, is starting to cook or whatever, um, our ground meat is going to be ready. So we're going to keep it really simple, like I said. And like I always say, you know, the, it's it's one of these things where I don't know who said that we had to spend hours and hours and hours in the kitchen. We don't. We absolutely do not. Okay. And uh, that's that's not what I'm about anyway. So let me just finish up here. Um, I'm going to use my my maple sausage. You don't you don't need a lot of sausage. Okay. So I bought two. And I was like, eh, I'll keep it for morning or something like that. So we'll do that and uh, put this away so we can have something maybe for the Sunday brunch, right? Okay, now, <laughs> y'all, when I tell you I am exhausted, it's because I've worked a full-time day. And on top of that, I need to make sure that the team that helps to support KCCR and the Brownstone Worldwide um, are, are moving and grooving like they're supposed to be moving and grooving. So I'm tired. I am exhausted. But what I am going to do, I have my skillet ready over here. Let me just turn this over here this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I have my skillet. I hope you guys can see the not my hand. There we go. So I'm just going to take my, I'm going to pierce this. And that, that, that water is already starting to boil. So I'm glad of that. And we're going to start cooking our ground meat and you see i'm not even trying to be super extra cute with it and all of that right so i'm just going to go on ahead and just put this sausage in here and let it start cooking again we don't need a lot this is a very simple bow tie recipe it really really is so you don't have to do a lot to it okay i should put a couple more holes in this package there we go it's coming on out all right, again, it's just ground sausage. I've got the maple flavor. 
Y'all, the reason why I got the maple flavor, honey, because it was on sale. I hope that you guys enjoyed your work week. Um, I do know that we just hit our last summer holiday, kind of, sort of, because now here comes back to school, stuff like that. Now, what I will tell you is for the month of August, our um, newsletter is going to be about back to school and what's coming down the pipe for that how you guys need to be prepared. So be on the lookout for that. If you haven't already gotten this month's newsletter, head on over to mybrownstoneliving.com and you can register for the newsletter there. And you can also register for the newsletter at kccrthebrownstone.com. It actually says My Brownstone Living Easy, I believe, is what it says at the very top. And you can register there. It's absolutely free. It is going to ask you to put in zero at checkout. That's all you got to do. And that will keep you subscribed until you tell us you don't want to be bothered anymore. That's pretty much it. So I've got all of my um, my ground meat together. And uh, what I'm going to do is start moving it around just a little bit. All right. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's get that meat ready. I'm going to turn that heat up just a little bit so we can get the topping. Now, what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to put this in the sink. <laughs> That's first and foremost. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start keeping a clean area. That's going to work. Then I'm going to go ahead and start putting my bow tie pasta in here. Now, remember, this is salted water. Okay. So I'm just going to put my bow tie pasta in here. And um, we want to be careful because we want to have it where it's not super soft. Okay? We don't. We definitely don't want that. We don't want it where it's super soft and stuff is falling apart and all that. We don't want that. So go ahead and make sure that this was rolling. And I, again, I've salted my water with some sea salt already. And our, our sausage is already cooking over here. So... Um, I'm going to start turning this just a little bit, just a little bit, because again, this is a very, very simple meal, very simple meal, and as you can see, it's pretty lean, it's not producing a lot of fat, so we're going to let it just kind of cook up just a little bit, and um, I'm going to turn this fan on, I know what, I know that, I'm sucking in some of that smoke is coming from all of this. Now, if you want, if you want, you can add onion to this or ground peppers or, you know, just regular sliced or diced peppers, a little garlic if you want to do that. I'm not uh, because it's already got that maple flavor in there and um, this is salted. Uh, at least the water is. And we don't even really need to salt the water that much because we're going to be adding cream, heavy cream and also cheese to this particular uh, recipe. So kind of keep that in mind when you are over here, you're just kind of cooking and, you know, it's like, oh, let me see. No, you don't need to do a bunch of seasoning. You, you know, you really, really don't have to. Now, if you choose to, um, you can definitely use some of the uh, Brownstone Living uh, blends. The Everyday Blend is really good for this. And um, I'm going to be showing that at the end where you can actually uh, purchase yours to have the perfect meal. Again, this is a very simple meal. Y'all, I've only been talking for, for nine minutes, and this meal is already almost done, okay? So I'm going to let that continue to cook. I'm going to check on my pasta over here. You don't want it to stick to the bottom. And you also don't need a lot of water either, folks. You want to get going in here and, and get done. So mind you, let's just say hypothetically, I just got off work, Okay. And one of the things that I don't like to do is I don't like to, I hate doing it, but I, I normally do because it's like, oh my God, I got to have something to eat right now. But what I prefer to do is to have food available and ready to go uh, when I get home. But if I can come in here and I can have a meal ready in 15 to 20 minutes rather than, you know, pulling up to a drive through or something like that, I would prefer to do that as opposed to, you know, wasting my money. Because that's really what it sometimes feels like. Because how many of you all do this? How many of you all buy all of these groceries? You buy a bunch of groceries. And then all of a sudden it's like, I'm not going to eat any of that. Let me just roll on over here to Popeye's or to, 
you know, uh, Bojangles or KFC or Burger King or whatever, and you wasted your money. Who wants to do that? Who wants to continue to keep doing that? So one of the things you can do, I encourage people to, to meal prep if you can, but if you can't, find creative ways to make a very sweet meal for yourself. One of the things that I prefer when I'm eating at home is being in control of the ingredients that goes into the food that I prepare. That is something else that you cannot get when you're out there and you're cooking. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're buying your food um, from, from a grocery. You don't have any power over that. Guess what? My ground sausage is done. Okay? Now, what I want to do is make sure that this is what they call to the teeth or al dente. Um, so my mother cooked for a living, and that was one of her things. So I want to make sure I still got a little ways to go. So I'm going to continue to let that do what it needs to do with the strainer ready. But in the meantime, I want to talk to you guys about what's happening in the brownstone. Y'all have been hearing about me talk. You've been hearing me talk about it all week long. So I got to come back on here and I got to talk about it again because I think it's super important. Number one, brownstoneworldwide.com is coming. I am so excited. What does that mean? News, politics, information, arts, um, community, um, all of the things that makes us who we are at the Brownstone is going to be available at Brownstone Worldwide. I'm excited about that. It's going to house KCCR the Brownstone, okay? So if you want to check out kccrthebrownstone.com right now, you absolutely can. You can listen to it on your phone. You can download the actual app, y'all. You can download the app. So that's crazy, super important. You want to download the app? You can do that as well. Download the KCCR, My Brownstone Living, the app. Or you can actually just head on over to kccrthebrownstone.com. And that is where you'll be able to see across the top all of the different places that houses the brownstone you can get access to the newsletter there just enter zero when you're checking out so you can get the latest newsletter okay you only have to do it once and then we got you from there okay the second thing is, is that if you're a business and you want to be a part of my brownstone living's marketplace let us know we're here to help you to reach all of our followers and you can bring your followers to us as well so we can all win that would be really so do keep that in mind. Go ahead over to kccrthebrownstone.com. Now, once you're there, not only are you able to listen to the shows and the great music besides, you can leave shout outs. You can do a live chat. We're going to be doing more of those for Corner family members. Um, but the other thing we want you to do is to head over to my Brownstone Living's website. Uh, I'm sorry, Facebook page, which is, you ready? The Brownstone Center. Super simple. That's all you got to remember, the Brownstone Center. And that is the main page where you can get all kinds of information about who we are. All right. Now, here's what's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because I don't want it to get too soft because soft pasta is kind of like gummy, isn't it? So we're going to let that continue to roll because it's almost done. And here's something else that we're going to do. We're going to save the pasta water. So it's super important to do that because when you're saving the pasta water, you're actually going to be able to use this to make your cheese cheesier. And it's going to also give it a delicious flavor. Now, something else that we're going to be pulling out to make a part of our meal is broccoli, broccoli florets. I'm going to pull those out of the freezer getting ready to do that right now mm. see how simple this is especially when you've been working all day who in the world wants to come home and do all kinds of cooking i know i don't so this is important frozen vegetables super important and um you check on our pasta really quick That pasta really going. All right, now I'm going to drain this. That's going to be important. So hang tight, folks. I don't need to bend over on you, but I got to, I got to, I got to drain my pasta. Okay, so I'm going to put my strainer in the sink. And we're going to drain. So I need my mittens. 
Ready? So now, mind you, when I come home, I'm ready to get out the house shoes. I'm ready to get out of everything. I'm sorry, I'm ready to get out of my tennis shoes. We're getting ready to drain this. Set up and stuff, but here we go. Come on, lean it forward so y'all can see. All right, so we're just gonna put the broccoli right in there. It's frozen. Okay, now remember we put sea salt in the water. I just want to just just a touch over top of our broccoli, and already it's starting to look a little pretty. You see that? Isn't that cute? Now, one of the things that you might have noticed is I haven't turned the eye back on yet, okay? Because the heat from this bowtie pasta is going to start cooking some of that, uh, the broccoli. And now we're going to start adding our sausage. I'm going to add that sausage to that bowtie pasta. Keep it simple, simple, simple. See? And let me tell y'all something. Oh, it's Paulette. Where you going? Where can we get these recipes, honey? I got you. I got you. Cause check this out. Um, we actually have a cookbook out. It's called A Month of Sundays. Now, is this recipe in there? No, it's not. However, in the upcoming cookbook, it will be, along with other recipes for the year. You don't want to miss that. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot because I want y'all to see the finished product when we're done super important okay so i am looking at my time right now i actually have a timer up here because i want to see how long it's taking me to do some of this cooking that i'll be doing and stuff so i'm currently at 18 minutes and five seconds listen all we have to do now is i'm going to add some heavy cream and my cheese that's it i don't even eat you know i don't even need to that's a little hot i don't even need to add much of anything else to it except my heavy cream and my cheats. Hold on just a minute. Heavy cream and where's my heavy cream? Here it is. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something that I do on a regular basis. I enjoy butter. <laughs> And I enjoy heavy cream. It is a must sometimes when you are um, making a delicious home cooked meal. You want to make sure that you keep what you need on hand. Now, I'm going to use two different types of cheese. It is on sale, y'all. It is on sale. So I'm going to open those up. Now, if you notice, let me pull you in. I'm going to pull y'all in a little bit closer so you can see. If you notice here, Everything is in one pot now. I don't have to do much of anything else except um, add my heavy cream. So I got my heavy cream right here. And I'm going to turn this eye on just a little bit, maybe a heat medium, so that we can get, get this to cooking. And what I'm not going to do, look at that. Look at that heavy cream. Look at that. Heavy cream right there at the bottom. Look at that. Yum. Let's talk about that. And we're just going to start stirring that up just a little bit. We're going to get that meat in there, that bow tie pasta in there, and those vegetables, that broccoli. 
again, if you want to add anything else to this, by all means, this is your recipe. But again, look, I've been at work all day, honey. I'm tired. Look, and I want something that I can enjoy. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I have some thick cut mozzarella and I have some creamy milk Italian cheese. It is uh, Asiago Parmesan and Romano cheeses with a touch of provolone. And uh, it was on sale, y'all, which is very rare. So I'm just going to put a touch of cheese in there, just a touch. And you notice that the cheese is all the same color. Well, I mean, this is just for fancy schmancy sake, right? I ain't trying to do nothing fabulous. I just want to try to enjoy this meal and, and have it ready for the family. Now, here's, here's something else you can do, too. You can add to your recipe. What can you do? A salad, a simple salad, a simple salad. Look at that. Ooh, that's that good cheese. Too, honey. It's thick cut, and it's gonna it's gonna really really make this stand out. Okay. So I'm gonna start my. Stirring, and we're gonna mix that right up in there with that heavy cream and that cheese. Look, y'all, we're done. That's it. What you can do, since this is in a Dutch oven, it's a glass Dutch oven, what you can do is you can put this in your oven for maybe 15 minutes or so, maybe on like really low warm heat to get that cheese to truly, truly get in there and melt. But you're done. Here's something else that you can do too, folks. You can add, ooh, it's starting to already get runny. So what you can do is you can actually use, um, what is this, uh, Alfredo sauce? But, uh, okay, you yeah. know, but uh, yeah, y'all get it. And so we're done. That's it. Uh-oh, bow tie pasta on the loose. That's it. End the story. You got heavy cream. You have your cheese. You got broccoli, frozen broccoli, okay? You didn't have to cut it off of the stem or anything. It's already cut for you. And your sausage. Again, you can use any kind of ground protein that you want. And your meal is done. You got your vegetables. You have some carbohydrates. You got some protein in there. Whatever you choose, right? And this can be a completely vegan meal if you choose for it to be. It is your choice. Doesn't matter. You're good to go with that, right? Look at that. It's, 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 it's screaming, I want you to taste me. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit more cheese in there and make it a little bit more cheesy. I don't want a lot, though, okay? Because this is not macaroni and cheese. It ain't that kind of part. Okay, this is still an adult meal. And if you want to add some additional seasoning to it, you can. But what I will tell you is, is that it already has salt in it. I salted the water. Then um, the sausage has a touch of salt in it along with that maple flavoring. And then of course the cheese. The cheese has salt in it as well. So you don't want it where it's too salty, where nobody in the house is going to eat it and they're going to be too sweet to tell you. And it's going to end up in the trash and you won't be the one, none the wiser. You don't want to do that. All right. So we are done here. I'm going to grab a plate and let's see what we got. Let me wash my hands first. Wash my hands. Get it popping. And y'all, I'm so glad that you all have been hanging out with us here at the Brownstone. One thing is for sure, as we start to grow, we're going to start reaching out to you guys. And we want to know what you want to hear. We want to know how you feel about certain things, right? We want to know um, your thoughts on certain things, okay? That's important to us. Um, we want to hear your voice on certain issues and concerns. So when the Corner family goes live, we want to hear from y'all, okay? I think that that's important for us to hear from you guys and see how you're feeling about specific things, okay? The other thing is, is that um, we're going to start having people come into the studio and hang out with us and talk and be interviewed. We've got some new podcasters that are joining the Corner family. And if you want to be one of those, if you want your voice to be heard, we are all about listening to you. It is so important for you guys to hear me say this. Super, super important, so I'm gonna say it again. It is so important that we hear from you. Um, because you are what makes the brownstone what it is. Look, I'm ready to start cleaning up. Look, so Lily um, fried chicken the other day, and when you fry chicken, you're supposed to wipe everything down. You know how stuff, the grease and stuff, be popping all over the place. You know, 
the sea villain, she'll figure it out. Um, or I'll fuss with him, die trying. Alright, so I'm going to clean up behind myself, and then I'm going to grab a plate, like I said, and let's try out our bow tie pasta, broccoli, and salt. I don't need a whole big old plate. And we are going to try out this bow tie pasta and sausage. Bow tie pasta and sausage. Y'all like, well, where's KJ? Honey, somewhere in that dungeon. Doing what he does best. Playing on that game. Okay? So here we have it. Just a little bit. I'm just going to eat a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. Because, again, when I turn this camera off, I'm getting on down. All right, so here we go. I hope you guys can see that. If not, uh, there we go. And I'm going to dig in. So again, this is bow tie pasta. Very, very simple. Guys, you can get bow tie pasta like Dollar Tree. Ready? This is a smidgen of the bow tie pasta. I have some broccoli and sausage on here with a touch of cheese and heavy cream. Life is complete. <laughs> okay? Life is complete. Listen. It's crunchy. The pasta is the perfect texture. It's not too gummy. It's not too soft. It's not too hard. It's just to the cheek. Al dente. Yes? And then we also have the sausage with the maple syrup flavor. So it's kind of knocking out any salt here. Remember, I said, you need a lot of salt because it's already got flavor in it. Listen, y'all love some of this. Wherever you get this recipe, I'm going to be sharing it on the Brownstone Center and also as a part of next month's newsletter. Okay? So you'll be able to get it there. Y'all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wanted to hurry and finish that so I can wrap it up with you all. Dinner is served. Your family can eat. You can sit down. Y'all, I literally made this meal in 26 minutes and 52 seconds. You can do the same. That's what this is about. It's about showing you, especially in times like this, you don't have to go to, and this is a lesson for me, so don't think that I'm talking to you all and I'm not talking to myself. This is a lesson for me because there has to be a point where you say, I got to stop eating out. I got to start doing better by my personal self and by my family. Eating out every once in a while is good like we did when I was a kid. We didn't eat out every day. We ate out every nine months, okay? <laughs> I'm so serious. Because my mother cooked every single day, every day she did it. And I know how, it's just that I have a lot going on. And so I have to find creative ways to stop eating out so much. And hopefully this has been good for you because then you can see for yourself what you can do to do better by yourself and by your family, okay? So again, I got this bow top pasta dish that is popping. Y'all, it's been a great week. Listen. We got tunes and tingles. We got the day shift. We got Cullen's Corner. I hope you all enjoyed Cullen's Corner this week. Was it not off the chain? You want to check out the replay? Listen to it on kccrthebrownstone.com. And from there, you can actually go ahead and download the app if you want to do that. Let me go ahead and turn this fan off. But um, I want you guys to get excited because there's so much coming down the pipe for us. And that means it's going to impact you. Listen, we're here to change the narrative. We want you all to have your voice. We want to be able to have a place, and we are going to have a place. We have a place available for you to get everything that you need to help you live the brownstone lifestyle, okay? There's tips, topics, and talk. You can check that out through Reels. You can also check out a myriad of different activities and stuff that we're going to have happening around the country when it comes to brownstone worldwide, okay? And eventually, we're going to be worldwide. Shout out to all of the people who are currently listening to us in Uganda. We have Nigeria. 
Um, we also have Pakistan that's listening. I find that really interesting. Maybe not so much so because I do have friends that are over there. So that could be what it is. And maybe they've given us a shout out over there. I don't know. But anyway, enough of that. If you want to be a part of the Corner family, go ahead and like the Brownstone Center on Facebook. And go ahead and download the KCCR My Brownstone Living the app. You can actually get a copy of, um, let's see, you can get a copy of, what is this? Why is that even up there? Oh, that's ghetto. Um, let's see, download the KCCR My Brownstone Living the app. Get more tips, topics, and talk with the Brownstone Living newsletter. You can absolutely do that. And if you are interested in getting a business loan for your business, you can check out getabbl.com. You can absolutely do that. So what I would encourage you to do is to um, get into it. Get into it. Come along for the ride. Hang out with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's what I would encourage you to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my top on my pot and this will be for dinner this evening now everybody can come and help themselves to anyone that they anything that they want here that's available but i hope that you really got something out of um today's show i hope you got something out of all of our presentations this week the recipes and hanging out with us for what's for brunch and also for um tips topics and talk on wednesday night and then also on monday night when we actually did the fourth of july episode um i am grateful that you guys are taking time to come and spend with us and so with that i just kind of wanted to touch on this just a little bit because we're getting so busy because we're getting so busy a lot of things that we used to do where i could talk directly to you one-on-one -on -one, that's getting ready to change and you might have already noticed it doesn't mean that we're still not here we have to get more creative in how we spend our time to get you the best value for what you would like to see from myself and from my from my partners in crime. OK, so when we're talking about the day shift, I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday in the morning. We're going to have coffee. We're going to listen to the news. We're going to talk about what's happening around the world and we're going to spit and banter back and forth with each other. I encourage you to come and hang out with me live right here on the Brownstone Center, Yvette Berry's page. On YouTube, you can check us out at the Brownstone Center, KCCR, the Brownstone, and then also on my personal page, you can check us out pretty much anywhere that there is a live stream. And then on top of that, if you happen to be driving, you can just go ahead and just download the KCCR app and you can listen to us either on your Android or iOS device. You can check us out on Amazon Alexa and also on Google Play. And then you can also check us out in your smart cars, okay? really really cool thing to do here's what i would like for you all to do contact us at contact at the brownstone sound.com contact at the brownstone sound.com let us know what you want to hear let us know what you want to talk about the magazine that is called brownstone living is available all you have to do is go to kccr the brownstone.com and you will be able to get a copy sent to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the website back up there. It says, My Brownstone Living Easy. It should say like easy or something like that. But then right next to that is the Brownstone Marketplace. That is going to be the place where if you are a small business, if you're a business of any kind, if you wanna reach our audience, the people that are watching us, they're watching the streams, they're listening, they're participating, you wanna reach those thousands of people that we reach on a daily basis, the best thing that you can do is you can reach out to us so that you can get advertising space. Why? Because right now we're running a special on that advertising space. You want to get in now before the price goes up because it's going to double. I'm letting you know now. Now is a better time than any to go ahead and get in the game. I'm going to be providing that link a little bit later on. And then starting next week, we're going to kick that campaign off because you'll have until July 15th before that special goes away. I don't want you to miss that. You can either be a part of the stoop, you can be a part of the block, or you can be a part of the corner. It is completely up to you, okay? Completely up to you. All right, so I think I said that in the wrong order. It is the stoop, the corner, and the block because the block encompasses everything. So you'll get more coverage if you become a part of the block. That's gonna be pretty cool. So guys, 
I want to leave you with this three things that I always like for you all to do. Love your life. It is the only one that you have. Live your life to the fullest and enjoy every single moment of your life. And lastly, breathe through every single moment, no matter what's going on, because as long as you're breathing and you take one breath and then another and then another, you will phase yourself into the next experience of your life. That's all I got for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready for the kids to eat. I want you guys to enjoy yourself. I want you to enjoy your weekend. It's another weekend. And that's getting us closer and closer to my daughter's wedding. I don't know how I feel about that because that means I got to go put a dress on. Oh, and she wants me to wear a specific kind. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. So um, where do you get these recipes? In the next upcoming My Brownstone Living newsletter um, and magazine. So that means you got to go register so that you can get these recipes. All right, you guys, my time is up here. I'll see you around on these internet streets on Facebook Reels. I'll see you on TikTok, Instagram. I'll see you on YouTube. I'll see you on Cullen's Corner. And I'll see you Monday morning for the day shift. And don't forget, Wednesdays for what? For brunch. After, of course, the Sunday brunch. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Good night.